Hey, how's it going? Today I want to share a few lessons that I learned during my time volunteering on a super adobe project in London in 2012. So when my wife Sophie and I met in Israel, one of the very first conversations we had was about going to India to design and build classrooms for children with special needs. We had just met, we didn't know each other. Sophie told me she had this ambition to go to India the next year and do this. And I asked her, can I come? Sounds great. And she, I'm sure jokingly said, yeah, sure. And I was like, no, I'm serious, let's do this. So we had an amazing connection. Yesterday I shared a bit about our project in Egypt where we started a grassroots recycling initiative. And in between Egypt and India, we had time in London where we were raising money to go to India to design these classrooms. I spent uh, most of my days volunteering to build these super adobe structures on the South Bank uh, during the Festival of the World in the lead up to the Olympics. And this was an incredible experience for me. A, I've never been in a major metropolitan city to this date before. Um, it was a bustling, thriving place. I was cycling from Hackney all the way through central London to the South Bank to arrive at work at 7 a.m. And it was that summer where there was 90 days of rain. It was unbelievably difficult psychologically and physically to try and work outside, commute via cycle in the rain. And I learned so much about myself, so much about people. We had this incredibly diverse team from all over the world. Iran and Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, Romania, England, Canada, America. There were a bunch of us who were out there digging big, big mounds of soil into these polypropylene plastic bags, wrapping them like snakes into um, into these dome, these spherical dome structures that could be used as a playground for children at the South Bank during the Festival of the World. And you wouldn't believe the way that people were looking at us as we were doing this. Uh, it looks kind of absurd because you're basically <laughs> filling these massive tubes of plastic with soil and then layering each tube on top of each other with barbed wire in between, almost in the same way that you'd make a clay pot by coiling uh, little s spherical shapes around and then blending them together. And there was this really fascinating transition that happened as this diverse team was kind of you know, bickering and uh, pu pushing each other around and there was a lot of conflict and arguing and there was tight timelines and pressure. But it was fascinating to see the group dynamic evolve as the deadline pressed through. And as we were nearing the opening of the Festival of the World, we were shoveling tons and tons of soil every day. And suddenly we saw leaders emerge out of the group who had more experience. They were nominated informally before to lead, but as the time pressure evolved, we suddenly got focused and put our heads down. And we got into a rhythm working together to fulfill this deadline. And it was such a great metaphor of what I think the world can be in that we often find the differences in ourselves and in one another. And we focus on those differences and we create conflict. But actually, if we can align ourselves towards shared values and common goals, to look past the differences and to tell a story about a better future that we all depend on, I think there is an amazing prospect for humans of every walk of life to collaborate for the good of our planet and the good of our future. I think the notion of nations can actually be very derisive. And if we began to experience the human consciousness, the reality that we are all human and that we all deserve to have good and meaningful life on this earth with the basic essentials that everyone needs, food, water, shelter, healthcare, all of those things that we depend on, and I think we have a prospect to do this now in this time. COVID is breaking all of the institutions, all of the practices to date, and is forcing us to look at doing something very differently. Whether universal healthcare in America crops up out of this or universal basic income, I don't know. I just hope that people can look beyond the boundaries of color and race, of religion and faith, and all of the things which have commonly divided us in the past. And if like our team on the South Bank can converge toward a shared goal of designing a future 
that's sustainable for the good of our children and the good of our families to survive in harmony, to thrive on this earth. I think we can live in harmony with nature. I think the technologies exist. I think everything is waiting for us. We just have to make choices along the way. And we have to demand from our companies, we have to demand from our governments that we want more because enough is enough. And so there, a little snippet from the South Bank Centre in London in 2012, passing through to this time now, in COVID-19, global pandemic. What are you asking for in this time? How are you working together with people different than you to make the world a better place? That's my thought for today. Thanks for sharing.